So endophthalmitis is one of the most dreaded complications in um, ocular surgery. So contacting infection depends on several factors. One of the most common influenceable and changeable condition is presence of blepharitis in, in a patient. And that is something that you would know um, as crusty secretion uh, in the morning. So the corners of the eye will get crusty and also the lashes, uh, there'll be some crust in the roots of the lashes. So if this is present, then it's probably better to delay the surgery until uh, we get rid of this. So the easiest way to get rid of that is by a regular lit hygiene. And there are several things that you could use, uh, starting from very simple um, baby shampoo solution or even just bicarbonate soda, or you can invest into proper lit uh, cleaning wipes that are available through the um, pharmacies or boots. And, and um, one would need to do that for probably a good month uh, before we can say that um, we, we, we have conquered that uh, infection. It's, it, the infection in the roots of lashes is very common. It is fairly benign and uh, it only uh, and it would require lifelong commitment to cleaning a bit like you would regularly clean your um, brush your teeth and uh, wash your face. So uh, regularly morning and night uh, before surgery, uh, you would have to do that um, uh, and, and also good practice to do it long term. Um, the second most uh, common, th there's certain factors that we do during the surgery, such as cleaning the lid with povidine iodine, which is an iodine containing uh, cleaning solution. Uh, we use sterile drapes. Um, we use very stringent sterilization techniques for all reusable instruments. And we use um, a lot of uh, single use instruments to ensure the, 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 the sterility. Uh, the lenses are cleaned with gamma radiation. So also very um, high uh, sterility profile. Profile. Um, during the surgery, the duration of surgery is very short. The incisions are minimally um, sort of small, so the, that minimizes the risk of um, infection entering into the eye. So uh, we certainly do every precaution, but despite that, um, every in and out of the instrument into the eye can potentially take um, the infection with it, and um, we give intraocular antibiotics at the end of procedure to minimize the, this risk of infection. So the most important uh, sign of endophthalmitis is pain. So we would normally expect a little bit of pain after surgery and that would probably uh, manifest itself in a form of discomfort more than the pain. There might be a sharp sort of pain um, just because of the, um, uh, the site of infection because we may have caught a, 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 a small nerve, but we wouldn't expect a severe persistent pain. So if that um, presents after surgery, then we would like to know about it as soon as possible. So um, the endophthalmitis, which is caught early, can be treated quite successfully without any long-term um, impact. However, if um, there's a delay in diagnosis or in cases of very rare, very aggressive infection, the, um, the outcome of the vision may be impaired. So the second uh, symptom um, other than pain would be blurred vision. So if the vision improved originally after surgery and then starts becoming a bit more blurred, then we would want to know about it as soon as possible as well. So these are the two main things that we always ask you to let us know as soon as possible, blurred vision and pain after surgery. So the treatment of endophthalmitis is antibiotics into the eye as soon as possible. So we inject those antibiotics into the back of the eye because that's where infection um, proliferates. So the um, this is done in the hospital setting. We would normally um, set this up in the sterile theater setting. We can occasionally do that in the treatment room. And also, depending on how, how severe endophthalmitis is and how good response is to the initial uh, injection of antibiotic, we may proceed to do a bigger procedure, removing the um, gel from the eye. So it's a bit like draining the abscess when it's present. Uh, and that is to improve recovery and give a bit more um, antibiotic into the back. So we would certainly um, watch you on a daily basis and ensure that you respond to treatment well and we get rid of the infection as quickly as possible.
unfortunately blindness um, the endophthalmitis is devastating condition if not treated and there's only one outcome Cataract surgery can cause endophthalmitis and the incidence of that is one in a thousand. So um, because of this, we usually advise um, to patients not to plan any trips away in the first seven days of the surgery because that's the most, that's the highest incidence of endophthalmitis between two to seven days. Um, ideally, probably two weeks um, is better to be in the country um, with easier, with quick access to the surgeon to deal with complications if they happen.